Hello everybody, Gibbs Matic here, and today I'm going to be talking about the title update 1.4 patch note for GTA Online, which was added today in the Gun Run-In update. So, Rockstar put out a post on their newswire talking about uh, the Gun Run-In DLC, which is out today, and personally, I've been very much enjoying it. Um, I've been doing a lot of the actual missions, and those are insanely fun. Um, so if you haven't played those yet, uh, if you have a bunker, or if you have a friend who has a bunker, definitely go out and try in those missions, because a lot of them are pretty good. So on Rockstar's support page, there is an article about the patch notes, and if you want to check out the full length article, then there is a link in the description. But I'm going to be hitting the big stuff that was added in this DLC. So of course we got all the new content, you know, new clothing, tattoos, uh, we got new vehicles. Now the vehicles that we got, by the way, are all the ones that we had already seen in trailers and screenshots and stuff. No new vehicles as of yet, um, but I do believe that there are some in the game file, so I'm sure they're going to be drip feed and some of that. But yeah, the vehicles seem to be quite good, actually a little bit cheaper than I expected, which is uh, definitely a good thing. And there's a lot of other content that is added to GTA Online. But as for the new features and updates, there actually are quite a few. So there is a new Bunker series, which has been added to GTA Online. The Bunker series is a new adversary mode series that consists of existing adversary modes that are set in the Bunker interior. These modes include Every Bullet Counts, Juggernaut, Kill Quota, Resurrection, Slasher, Till Death Do Us Part, and Trade in Places. So that's quite a number of adversary modes. So far I have not played this yet, um, but it sounds kind of fun. Um, you know, it's basically just these select adversary modes inside the bunker series so that's quite cool i'm sure you know some people may be interested in those adversary modes i'll probably be checking it out eventually um especially because you know it's kind of new maps for these adversary modes and some of these are actually some good adversary modes. next up is that there is a hood up and down option which has been added to the interaction menu and then also a new jacket open and closed option has been added to the interaction menu also ballistic equipment has been added to gta online the Ballistic Equipment is a new set of armor that players can call in when in free mode if unlocked via research and purchased from Warstock Cash and Carry. Once purchased, players can use the Interaction menu and then select Ballistic Equipment Services option to call it in for a fee. So that's quite cool. Um, essentially that Juggernaut suit that we saw in, in the Juggernaut Adversary mode, it's kind of like that. So if you want to be a bit more tanky in GTA Online, then the Ballistic Equipment is for you. Next up is to become a VIP, players only need $50,000 in their bank account, which as before it was $1 million. And I'm a bit torn on this, while I do like it because you know it means that more people can be VIPs in GTA Online now, at the same time, is you know if it's only $50,000 as opposed to $1 million as it was before, is it really much of a VIP status anymore? Because you know, sure, $1 million isn't the most amount of money, but I'd say a lot more people have $50,000 in their bank or can easily acquire that compared to $1 million where, you know, while that may not be, you know, the top, you know, dogs in GTA Online, I'm sure, you know, that is more of a VIP status than something at only $50,000 because you could get that so easily. I know back in the day, whenever I was a VIP, you know, before the CEO system and stuff, I would never go below $1 million. I was like, you know, this is too good of a feature. And nowadays it's kind of like, well, $50,000, that's not that hard to get. I could do like one heist finale and I'm there already. So I don't know, I'm a, I'm a bit torn on that. But anyways, it doesn't bother me because I'm already a CEO. I could just call it in at any time, so whatever. Also, new MC and CEO outfits have been added to G2 Online. I, I guess that's kind of a cool thing. And also multiple special race props have been added to the director mode. A few other things I want to mention about this update as well is first off, uh, pretty much everybody's modded money has gone away. Now I didn't have modded money, so to me, it didn't, I didn't lose any money or anything like that. However, I've heard a lot of people lost quite a bit of money if you had modded money. So if you do, I definitely suggest checking into your account and seeing if you lost any money. There is sort of a, an event going on. Uh, there are, you know, a few premium races going on, so that's cool. So from today until the 19th, you can get the Hawk and Little hoodie, you can get the Class of 98 t-shirt, and you can get the Bomb Fuer cap in GTA Online. So there's a few different ways you can get this. Uh, the Hawk and Little hoodie is by purchasing a bunker, 
And then logging into the GT Online will get you the class of 98 T's and the Von Fuera caps. So on the pistol, SMG, combat MG, assault rifle, heavy sniper, and standard ammunition, you can get a 25% discount there, as well as 25% off the Vapid FMJ and the Trufade Adder. If you want to check out the full patch notes, there is a link in the description, but I wanted to just hit some of the big stuff in this video. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this DLC so far? Let me your thoughts and add in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback sauce, pretty I'll see you guys in the next video.